Hey everybody, welcome back to Dredge. I need this in my life right now. Uh, just recorded a bunch of Star Wars. The game keeps crashing. It's so it's frust it's very frustrating. <laughs> so I'm here to uh, to chill out and have a super time. So let's rock. We have uh, we have plans. We have big, big, big plans. Uh, for one, we are. We need to go dredging. We saw a bunch of stuff off of this. What's with the? Wait. Are we having weather? Oh, maybe it was over there when we saw it. There is a ship there. We're gonna go dredge, and then we're gonna do some nighttime fishing to try and find the required goods for the scientist. Now, I'm not seeing... We had a whole bunch of dredging opportunities, I thought, off of that research island. Let's just take a little look-see here. Is that lightning or is that one of those swirls? Let's do a let's do a loop around this side. We'll continue to look for some dredging stuff. I don't know, maybe that maybe it can like change. Yeah, I've basically just done a full circle now. Maybe it can change when you save and load. I don't know if that if that's a thing. Okay. Let's fish here. Our main goals are to hey, lift it from the deep. Our main goals right now are to get the research done. Beautiful. And so that's going to require taking us into nighttime anyways. So let's see if we can find anything else that's relatively close. This is going to be abyss. But we we needed the dredging that I saw, man. I, I can't let it go. I'm going to have to catch this and just... Oh, this is... I can't even. <laughs> All right. Let's let, let the nighttime stress begin. Do we have any... No, we don't have any parts. Okay. So, now I've got these fish, and I have no place to uh, put them. I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's see if we can get in here without... Coming too exposed. Oh, here. It was right here. Thank God. What time is it now? It's almost nine. That's a problem. Beautiful. Now it's almost midnight. Which means we could very well... ...miss our nighttime opportunities. Okay, we need one of these. How am I going to make space for this? Um, we'll discard this guy and this guy.
I think we needed a squid, actually. Firefly squid. Radiant squid. And then there was something else weird that we needed. So that was actually... That was pretty convenient. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna sell you. And we're gonna sell the radiant squid. I better double check, because... I don't want to accidentally sell something I need. Glowing octopus, firefly squid, and aurora jellyfish. All right. Mm. So they can you can take this one. Research part wise, I still can't get into this, which is weird. So I, I don't know. That must just unlock somehow, somewhere, for some reason. Uh, let's throw into this harvesting platform, I guess. And we have the versatile rod. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, oceanic. So I guess we just get rid of this. Okay. And then we go here. We're going to upgrade our boat. So we have so much monies. Baboom. We have so many slots. Okay. Mm, let's focus on this. No any uh, bolts of cloth. We do have a lot of... Um, like valuables that we need to go and try to sell though. Okay, a couple bolts of cloth and we're laughing. So now, let's take these back to the researcher. Look at, we have so much room for activities. I don't want to fish on my way out here because they could just go stale. I don't know if she'll care that these ones might be stale. She didn't specify, so she's getting what she's getting. Both those specimens. Okay, so there you go. That's great. They're still fresh, so it's even better. Okay, so I need an Aurora jellyfish. It's coastal, which is cool. Um, this needs to go into our storage. Okay. So now we head back. We'll fish whatever we find along the way, really. Some snapper seems cool. Got to remember we have that manifest thing, but that's really far. So that's like an emergency, or if we have to go back there, sure. Then we obviously will just use it. I I have completely lost all sense of direction out here. That's what happens. Okay, so let's take a second here and just see octopus. Hadal had Hadal Hadal. There's dredging over there. That's good. There's dredging there. Octopus. Huh. Am 
Might as well. What's up, man? <laughs> That's the same squid spot. I'm gonna have to check some other spots here, but it's a little risky. Um, take everything. Uh, if we look, we do have an extra space for a motor here, so we could fill that out if we got that research. Uh, but it's a lot of research parts. We have six spots here now and six spots over here for rods and reels. Yeah, and like, all we know is that they're coastal, right? Stone trembles before you. Oh, okay. So we had run into this during the day. Sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm. A deep vision enters your mind. Green glimmer of an aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. A distant boom shakes the thatched roofs and rouses dreamers from their sleep. The waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Confused critters or confused creatures chitter and seek out their hiding places. Moments later, the waters return, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to sea. Excuse me? I don't know if these mean anything. So th this is the vision. An aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. So I guess here. Boom shakes. Waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. So like, okay. I don't... I don't know. I just don't know. What is this? What the heck? Paddle. That is not something we can fish. Abyssal is a, that like angler fish thing. I was trying to think of that name, I think, last time. Oh boy. What? I don't think I've seen that happen before. It'd be cool if you could, uh, like, mark stuff. Like all that dredging that we saw. I could be wrong, but I, but I feel like everything would be in this area. So there should be something special in here. Tried to switch to speed burst there. So, to my eyes, we don't have those things here. 
which is kind of interesting. Experiment with different fishing strategies. Aurora jellyfish. Shallow, coastal, and like we're catching these in this in coastal areas, right? So you'd think these would be close. Oh, I just, I just, just, just saw it. I, I see, I see it. I see all the comments before they're even written. Okay, I see them. I feel them. Heard. I, I feel you. Okay. I need to get, uh, I need to make some changes to the boat. I'm on it, guys. I'm on it. That's why it's saying experiment with different fishing styles. For some reason. <laughs> well, it doesn't, it doesn't, even, doesn't even matter what I'm going to say. No, it doesn't. But I got it now. Don't you worry. This may have become a bit of a problem. Okay, that's about as much I can take. Should maybe empty my crab pots as well. Is that a little uh, monument back there, perhaps? It might be. Okay, so we're gonna install this, and it catches coastal, so that's good. Couldn't find space. Wait, what? Oh, right, because it has to go in the nets. My bad. It's been a while, okay? It's been a while. Okay. Let's check to see if she's selling anything mm. different for lights or improved trawl net. Oh my god, I installed this too. This is what I have, so we're good. Having a rough day, okay? <laughs> Okay, let's get trolling. We'll do our crab pots. Whoa! Crown of thorns, blue crabs. Okay, um, wasn't expecting that. Checking to see if this is like a weird monument thing. Oh, it is. Okay. Holy crap. Don't kill me. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I should come here at nighttime? What's in my net? Snapper. Okay, it's only positive vibes from here. Mm. Repair everything. Cool. As well, sell what I have there. Oh, 
Oh, you can get octopus in here. That's cool. Trapped by these walls. And all of them looked like they were still healthy, I think. Nope, I left. Not even close. Oh, you know what? I bet we have to trawl that. We have to, we're going to have to do it at nighttime. For sure. For sure. The jellyfish? 100%. So now we have a few things we're going to do this night. I'm pretty smart. Crown of Thorns. Starfish is extremely hardy. It's a destructive pest not worth selling. So, it's probably because it takes up way too much space, right? It, this is an annoyance, basically. These guys, though, these are nice. Blue crab. Find that at some restaurants. Alright. Oh, let's do the crab pot repairs. Mm. I'm just going to repair this one, too, because I have a little bit of time to kill, and I might as well pick up these fish. Perfect. So let's check this. We're just going to be trawling this whole time. Oh boy. No! Huh. I, I don't have like a... I don't have, like, a weapon or anything. There we go. Got one. I can't put this anywhere else. I have to leave it here. Okay. Which means I shouldn't go and sell. Let's go back to the research. Maybe we'll find some other weird stuff. I feel like, too, I, sh I should at least do a full circle of the islands to make sure that we haven't missed anything, but... Trying to split the difference there.
Okay, researcher, I hope you're awake. There we go. Caught all the surface specimens I needed. What do you mean, surface? But, uh, yes, I also need some from deeper down, but that's gonna be a problem. I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect the samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts carefully. I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want you to be on the reef at night. Is there anything else? Okay. So, prototype parts. Huh. Okay, so we need to go to the old research outpost, I guess. A few predators are spreading rapidly. Alright. Holy frick! That is insane, dude. What the hell? That's We haven't seen one of those. We have not seen that. That was a full-on shark. That was a shark attack. That was an absolute shark attack. What the hell? No, dude. Why do I got the why do I got birds annoying me too now? Not my squid. Oh, I just oh no. Three hundred and nineteen bucks. And now for the repairs, 134. Eh, it could have been worse, honestly. Could have been way worse. Um Okay. So what should we do? We're trawling for coastal stuff. We can catch coastal shallow. The only thing we can't catch right now is oceanic. So I think I'm gonna uninstall this, throw that into storage, and put the hydraulic rod back on. Okay, now we're definitely waiting till daytime, and we'll go back to the old research outpost. with 100% fewer explosions. I should get this. enough of that. Okay, now at the lab. It's in ruins, equipment and research papers strewn about. Where do you want to look? Let's look in places again, just to see. Oh, here, prototype parts, okay. You stow the prototype parts on board. Uh, look on the floor just to be sure. Okay. Generator still nothing. Ooh. Okay, here's some of the the dredging stuff we probably saw. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. He still, he still messes around in the daylight. All right, cool. I think I knew that. Just add it to the list of bad things happening to me today. <laughs> Holy. 
You know, some days you're just like, man, maybe I should just go to sleep and start fresh tomorrow. This is one of those. Look at the drop off there, hey? Like, this is really on this cool little isolated island. Okay, I got your parts. This must get us into that, that uh, abyss stuff. It has to. Should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. A little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Uh, yeah, okay. Sampling device. Okay. So we'll put the hydraulic away. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it, I'm not sure. Mm. Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Complicated looking piece of equipment with lights and a loudspeaker. Not quite sure which way it should be facing. Needs to be attached to a generator. Great, now look at the specimens. Okay, anglerfish, amphipod, hedal. Okay, so that could be out there. We may have seen something like that. Snailfish, loose jaw. I feel like these are all going to be nighttime too. We did see some hedal spots. Uh, these are all hooks, 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 hooks. Cool. 11% fishing speed. Is there anything else? Nope. I think we get it. Now, we're going to go to the generator and see how that works. Serenity now! Uh, we're going to go to the generator, see how that works, and then uh, maybe that becomes like a permanent thing for us that doesn't need to be put powered by the generator. And then maybe I can use that on that weird little crab t tome tomb thing that we saw. That's what I'm thinking. But most of what I've been thinking so far has not been correct. The repulsion machine could be connected. Well, here we go. A small object rolls out from under the generator covered in dried salt. We'll take a research part. Activate it. Yes. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top and an alarm begins blaring. So this should keep the creature at bay for a time at least. Okay, so we're going to have to come back and do this. But now I can get some of these things out of the middle. I don't know if... Oh. Right. Interesting. This is all Hedal. Let's do the dredging. That's a big one. So I guess we're only going to have access to the... Yeah, we're only going to have access to the uh, abyssal stuff at night. One coin. Okay, so I think that's something we need. I think that's something we need. Yeah. 
There is Abyssal there. Oh, that looks like a dredging part. Doesn't it? Shapes in the deep. Oh, God. Oh, that's probably... Okay. That's like the main thing that we need, I think. Here they are. These are like small versions of the first big guy that we ran into. Little anglers. Now I'm curious if I can reset this timer, or if I have to wait. Looks like I can reset it. So I'm 90% certain that we're now going to be able to put research parts into that other thing. So I need to have one of these. Storage, storage. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bottomless lines. This is what we want. Excellent. So now... We're going to go shipyard. We're going to... Uninstall this. Store it. Bottomless lines. Install this bad boy. can't get some other stuff that we need before heading back. Snailfish, yep. Okay. Let's just double check. Snailfish, anglerfish we have. Stoplight loose jaw and giant amphipod. So we need to find not snailfish. Find question marks. There we go. There's an amphipod. Ruptured vessel, sure. that we're going to have a shark attack here. Let's go turn in what we have. Maybe that would keep the shark attacks away too, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this I don't think we saw. Loose jaw? I don't think I've seen that, man. Yeah, it's, it's abyssal and it's, uh, it is a hook, so that's cool.
Oh, right here. Sick. I think one thing I, I do a, a lot is I try to target the fish instead of the surface. So I guess these guys are daytimers. Oh, both. All right. I wonder what she could give me now. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a permanent, you know, monster annoyer, right? Like maybe I get to install that horn on my boat. Here you go. Good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Give me the bad. Samples you retrieve from the basin of dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. Damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write a report on my findings. Sorry, our, our findings. Immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. How rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've not much to say thank you with. You should have this. Plan for the future. She gives me a book. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. Well, what the frick? I guess that's good. <laughs> All right. Okay, that, the generator's not running. So I don't want to mess around in this area too much. You can see its little tentacles doing tentacle things. I actually wonder if I ran this. And then tried the. That altar that we found. Let's just see if there's by chance anything out here. There's some dredging, and there's a special fish here. Calcified. Here we go. That's what we needed. Um, found a ring. Yeah, okay, good. Still haven't caught any of these, which is really disheartening. So, I think now the plan is sell the fish, get our pots, check the altar while that thing is running. Mm. This can go to storage. Mm. Repairs.
It's definitely still running. He definitely does not care about the noise. Okay. So that theory is out the window. I don't know what to do with him. Like, I'm thinking there's maybe something I could, like, drop for him or something, but I, I don't think that would even... Like, if I were to take a fish out of my thing and just drop it there, I wonder. So now we can catch everything except oceanic stuff, which is fine. We're gonna do this now. We're gonna teleport. Um, oh, I need to get it out of my, my storage. You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on a table by the collector, his eyes widen. <sighs> Certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you're due a reward. He opens a crimson book, its spine cracking audibly, selecting a page carefully, begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Oh. Fire off a blazing light. Suddenly, your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? What are you going to do when you have all the relics? He ponders. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Merrill? That stuttering old fool. Yes, I knew him. He'd join us in the water sometimes, but was more hindrance than help. He never seemed entirely with it. I can't imagine he has fared too well since I last saw him. Anything else? <sighs> Book holds power from the deep. What does Banish do? Provide you a temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they're spoken, the more they are understood. Hmm. Huh. So... Part part of me is thinking, of course, we could maybe use that at that at that altar. Dispel most evils for a time. So yeah, maybe like maybe that would work. Maybe we try and banish that thing. It throws out little glyphs and stuff, right? So it's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't grab my, my crab pots. This is oceanic, yeah. Okay, so, um, we're gonna do what? I guess we're gonna go up to Twisted Strand. I should go back to get my stuff from... From, uh, there. Let's see if I can get there without blowing myself up. Jeez. Oh, cute. Viper fish. Decrepit viper fish. I feel like I took a bit of a... Well, here's another one. Let's go to that. Barrel eye. I don't think any of these are the special fish. Yeah, 
Yeah, I better go because I'm going to spend a lot of time here and then I'm going to get stuck in the middle of the ocean at nighttime. Nobody wants that. The jellyfish have arrived. Isn't that lovely? Um, should I be concerned? It is a thick tentacle. I don't know what that was. So, uh, we're back here to grab all of our pots. Got a trophy there. Didn't have enough to pick that up. We're also going to try to banish that object, I guess. Medusa octopus. Oh, cool. I like when you just randomly find a new one. Yeah, okay, so these things, they just... They take up so much space. We're gonna discard. Mouth of the Deep, pick that up. <sighs> okay, we are officially ready for our next adventure. And uh, it's pretty far, so... Oh, wait, there's another... Hold on, hold on. There's one more out here. Where is it? Ah, there it is. We'll repair this, and then we'll teleport back. Actually, we're gonna check that thing. God, so many things, so many things. I mean, so like, yes, it's stopping him, but it doesn't mean I can do anything. It's just stopping him from attacking. But it does work. I'll give him that. All right. Uh, one other thing I should probably do. is go sell our treasures. Take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Hey, relaxed mind. Okay, thanks. There you go. Enjoy. Okay, now we're done. Guys, thank you so much. We will see you next time. Uh, fewer crashes, probably. Bye now.